We did everything we said we would. I just didn't think it would cost us this much. It's the names of all of your local dealers. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe that smile off your face. You can't. Cause then I'm just gonna send my condolences to Lil' Kevin. It's our time now, T. Life gainers and BMF fans, this is gonna be my season two finale trailer breakdown. What can I say, man? I'm so sad that they got rid of my Detroit Diesel Monique. Even though y'all ruined it for me, telling me that her whole body was fake. Y'all screwed me over the way someone told me WWE was fake. But I'm good. And damn, my dude, Ty. He really had to kick the bucket. And that horrible little scene between Meech and Young Miami. Felt like I was watching Tubi, BET+. But overall, beyond that, this was a hell of a episode. Episode 9 was great. I loved how <laughs> Lucille curb stopped <laughs> Pastor Swift when he tried to rub them kneecaps. And after that, he was like, one finger up, split that check right down the damn middle. That was funny to me. But with so many things that happened in that episode, where is episode 10 of season two going to take us? We're going to take this trailer and find some clues. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I pop up and go live, y'all can join us. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and the TikTok. Also, download that podcast. People, take me wherever you go. We're going to watch the rest of this trailer because this trailer was long. Because it's the season finale, they want us to get ready, and that's what we're going to do. Let's catch it again, and then we'll go through it piece by piece. I did not get back in this game to lose you. What are you talking about? We got everything we wanted. We're not killers or businessmen. Speak for yourself. I'm gonna put the mark on the wrong side of the grass for good. In the beginning, we see B Mick and Meech, and Meech is saying, we did everything we said we would. And they show a picture of him and T. And then we hear T say, didn't think it would cost us this much. And as they say that, you see the crew behind them voicing over. And then they get to a scene where we see that punk ass Lamar. I am so like, we know he's not going to die in real life, but with the story spin it where he died, because as we see, some people have been talking, them streets been talking and the actual real person that is Lala's character on the show, she's saying that she was nowhere near messing around with Terry when he was underage. So do you think that they would have someone take out Lamar? Post your comment. We know it ain't going to be Meech if they do. And then we see Meech and T looking at somebody. They obviously done went back to the D because I see E course on the back of that car behind them and they at the car wash. And then we get a voiceover where Jen is talking to K-9, and she said, names of all your local dealers. And he's sitting in jail laughing like, bruh, sis, I ain't telling y'all nothing. And the thing that we want to know here is, did he have, how, how deep was any of his connections to my dude, Boom? Is he going to give up Meech? Because they are trying to put the screws to K-9 because they know K-9 had a Colombian connect. They... Coach Cop and Jen know it, and they're trying to get the answers to it. But the thing I want to know, ladies and gentlemen, is this going to be the episode where Jen dies? I hope not. But what we do know is her days are numbered. She's not going to be surviving for long. Climax of this whole trailer for me is this meeting between Coach Cop and Meech. Standing in the rain, Meech got his umbrella, his jumpsuit on like he about to go run track. Coach Cop looking like he came straight from the 60s fighting with the Black Panthers. And we hear Coach Cop say, I'm going to wipe that smile off your face. And Meech say, oh, yeah, you can't because then I'm going to have to tell your son condolences. Damn. Is that a threat? Ladies and gentlemen, is that a threat? And as they go through that, we see Coach Cop holding his son. Oh, so cute. Hugging giving that jawbone. Look at Coach Cop jaw all big and shit like he done got stung by a bee, loving his son. And then from there, we get Meech again, 
as they is back and looks like Magic City because I see the magic in the corner shaking that jelly, throwing dollars. We hear Meech say, it's our time now, T. And then they show T in the car with Markeisha. Folks, this is a diabolical situation with her because of her connections to Boone. And then we hear T say, didn't get back into, I didn't get back in this game with you to lose. And then they show him talking to his brother Meech. And Meech says, what the hell are you talking about? Then the fellas dap each other up. And then they see Coach Cop pull up at their car wash. No doubt to cause a big stink. No doubt to cause a big, this big stink. And then we see T talking to Meech again. T says, we got everything we wanted. But we not killers. We business men. Okay? And then Meech retorts, speak for yourself. Now, this must be when he about to try to go get Lamar. Again, we know that they're not going to allow either one of these brothers to kill someone on TV. But that don't mean somebody else won't do it. Like Hothead B. Mickey, who we've only seen him in this trailer once, twice. And we know that he's still a little, you know, he's a little spaced out in the mind right now. He ain't in a good place, especially after what happened last episode when they was on that helicopter scene as if they could have been in one of Michael Jackson's thriller videos, dancing and singing. We finally see Charles and he's in a track suit, which means he is now officially working with Meech and crew. He is, he, him and Lucille's done. You see Meech got on his track suit. Charles got on his track suit. He finds like the hell with this. Take me down South. Let me do some transporting from here to the South. So I can go see some of them freak Nick bunnies y'all boys messing with. And then we see, it looks like they went back south down there to the freak Nick again. And then we see B. Mickey at the car wash. So they obviously brought his ass back to Detroit, which I think is a bad move. And we see Meech down with his gun behind a table firing. And then we see a dead body. We see Coach Cop. We see Meech and T. We see Jen. We see the coroner. Are they intimating that this is Lamar? Who is this, ladies and gentlemen? I, I don't think it's Lamar. It might be Boone. It could be my nigga Hoop, because I don't think Hoop is going to get out of this thing alive. And then we get T arguing with, La, arguing with Meech, and Meech is saying, I'm going to put Lamar on the wrong side of the grass for good. And then they clip to somebody running, and I tried my best to figure out who the hell this is. I even blew it up. Couldn't figure out who it is. But who the hell do y'all think this is? Who's chasing them? We see Lucille looking sad. Maybe that she's finally realizing that, you know what? All the things that happened in this marriage, she's through with it and she's not going back. We see Goldie dressed in white. Could this be some kind of a funeral or the death of her sissy? We see Meech, T, and the crew giving somebody that Shawn Michael sweet chin music beating the hell out of them. Who could they be beating down? Post your comments. Coach Cop rolling up on what looks to be some kind of a uh, maybe police drug stop or police parking lot stop, and he looks very, very shook. Could be looking at Kevin. Markeisha and T, which has turned into the red herring of this season from some of the decisions she has made, how is this going to play out with her and Boone? And then we see Meech at whatever this gathering is where his dad is dressed up and we see T in the background and maybe this is Coach Cop rolling up on them at this gathering. And then they end this trailer, my people, with Lamar Silas, the man I'm ready to see go, big old fat gun in his face. And as we scroll up, guess who's holding the damn gun? It is Meech. But we know Meech ain't going to kill him, so what is Meech going to do? Tell him to leave the city? Tell him to go somewhere else. Maybe he'll make Lamar part of his team in another city. Maybe he'll make him part of the team here. Post your comments. Let me know what you think. That's going to do it for this video. So sad to see this show go. But at the end of the day, this has been a great season. Lil Meat stepped up his acting. And I want to know what you guys want me to do. Next week, we've got Power and BMF. So do you want me to do... BMF Friday night on a live stream at 9 p.m. and then come back with Power Saturday? Or do you want me to do Power Friday and then come back with BMF Saturday? 
Let me know. This is my online poll via YouTube, and I want to know what you think. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and that TikTok. Download the podcast. And until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.